feel like I say the same intro in every single one of my videos. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I want I want to switch things up a bit. What's up, guys? Welcome back. That was really aggressive, and I woke Barry up. I'm sorry, Barry. Please go back to sleep. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be doing... Hold on, I actually have a title for this. I'm calling it the Testing New Affordable Makeup. Basically, what's new at the drugstore. I went to my local Target and picked up a bunch of new things that recently came out. Actually, there's one in here. I'm not sure if it's new new, if it's brand new, but it's new to me. You guys will see in a second which one I'm talking about. But I've gathered them all right here we have some stuff from elf cosmetics maybelline rimmel london eco tools l'oreal be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy these types of videos if you enjoy drugstore videos if you want me to keep doing more affordable types of videos give this video a big thumbs up all right we're ready to begin i hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado let's do this Dun -dun -dun. So the first product I want to test out is this. This is the e.l.f. Cosmetics Beauty Shield Antioxidant Enriched Skin Protection. It says it has SPF 50. It's a skin shielding moisturizer. First of all, I really like the packaging. It's really nice and sleek and it also has a holographic feel to it, which I love. I also really like how it has a pump and it says in the back that this moisturizer provides lightweight hydration for a more luminous looking complexion that's makeup ready. Featuring a sheer universal tint that blends with any skin tone, formulated with SPF 50 and key antioxidants, blah blah blah, that it helps protect your skin against everyday environmental aggressors. So I guess I'm just gonna apply it right here. Ooh, okay, I actually was not expecting it to have like a nude, almost beige color. I was expecting it to be white for some reason, but here's what it looks like. It has somewhat of a thick consistency, so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it onto my face. Ooh, it has a scent to it. The scent reminds me of an orange, like a little tangerine, a little cutie. I'm not mad about it because I love me some oranges. And as you guys can see, hopefully the camera is picking that up. It's giving me a white cast. I'm not sure if it's still settling, but that's, that's what's going on right now. So let's give it a few seconds or about a minute or two to settle in. All right, so it's been a few seconds now and the white cast is dying down, which is pretty good. I can barely see it. So far, so good. I'm liking it so far. It's giving me a really nice luminous glow, which is exactly what it said it would do. And since this is more of a skincare product, I'm obviously not going to be able to give you guys my full review, but so far, so good. My first impression of it is really good. Let me give you guys a little bit more of a close-up. My one negative thing about it is the scent. I feel like the scent lingers, like it's still on my face and I can smell it and it's definitely still on my fingers. So, I mean, I didn't mind it at first, but now that it's been like a few minutes, I can still smell it. So just keep that in mind that it has a pretty strong scent. The next product we're testing out is definitely not new. I Googled it. It's not new, but it was my first time seeing it at Target, so we're gonna consider it as new, okay? So this is from NYX Cosmetics. This is the Honey Do Me Up. It says it has honey, which is a natural antiseptic. It has gold flakes to increase skin radiance and collagen for smoother skin. This was very, very interesting to me, so I had to pick it up, and again, I've never seen it ever before, so I had to get it and test it out with you guys. I also really love the packaging. It looks very high-end, it has some weight to it, and also, if you look very closely, you can actually see the gold flakes in it, which is very, I don't know, it just looks really cool to look at. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Ooh, I was definitely not expecting it to have that kind of consistency. It almost looks like slime of some sort, but I guess it makes sense because it has collagen in it. But I don't know, for some reason I was expecting it to look exactly like the for Solly one, the, the 24K Elixir, which we've tried in the past. I also think the applicator is very unique. Again, it's not a dropper. Also, since this is a skincare item, I'm going to be very careful where I apply it on my face. I have, you guys know I have sensitive skin, so I'm not going to apply it all over my face, but I'm going to apply it in some areas. Oh, 
oh my gosh this can get really messy really fast as you guys can see there's that big hole and knowing my clumsy self i'm gonna tip this over and it's gonna create an entire mess and it's just it's just not good i'm gonna go ahead and apply it on to my cheeks oh my gosh that feels really good it's very cold do you guys see that it has like a sticky consistency i don't really know if i'm liking that sticky consistency it kind of reminds me of saliva Ooh, i'm feeling a little bit of a slight tingly sensation hmm i'm not sure if the camera is picking that up the gold flecks are actually pretty thick so you can actually see it on my face <laughs> okay this product is making me nervous i'm gonna go ahead and remove it because that tingly sensation really scared really scared the crap out of me not gonna lie it was tingling on this area of my face so i'm gonna go ahead and just remove it Whew. okay okay that made me nervous <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go ahead and give this one a thumbs down for now i definitely did not like that tingly <laughs> sensation it was not comfortable for me whatsoever and also the gold flakes in it are really big so you can totally see them on my face especially in real life so I don't know. I'm really sad because I really wanted to like it, but I'm gonna go ahead and yup. I'm gonna stick to my answer and give it a thumbs down. All right, next products we're testing out are these babies right here. These are by EcoTools. These are the Perfecting Blender Duo. There's two unique sponges in here, and it says you can use them wet or dry. Ooh, it also says that this has a 50% better application than the leading prestige sponge. Is this throwing shade at the beauty blender? Hmm? So here is what they look like when they're dry. I typically like using my sponges wet, so I'm gonna go ahead and wet them. I'll be right back. Alright, so here's what they look like now that they're wet. As you guys can see, they definitely got a lot bigger. I'm gonna go ahead and apply foundation on to my face. In case you guys are wondering, I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm gonna be using the big one first ah! okay here goes so so far so good you guys i'm really liking this i think it's doing a really good job applying my foundation evenly and smoothly all over my face i also really like the bounciness of it it's really allowing me to blend the product into my skin really well and also i think the flat surface on top is genius because it's really allowing me to get into those little corners like around my nose area the inner corners of my eyes i just think it's such an amazing sponge, and I'm definitely loving it so far. Next, I'm using this little guy, and this one is a lot firmer um, than the big one. So let's see how well this performs. I'm actually going to be using this for my concealer. For concealer, I'm using my handy dandy Instant Age Rewind Concealer from Maybelline. You guys know I'm obsessed with this concealer so i'm gonna go ahead and just put it underneath i'm gonna get a little bit closer to you guys so you can see better wow okay so this sponge is another thumbs up for me honestly i had no doubts that it was also going to be amazing because the first one was really good so i guess my expectations were the same for this sponge and i definitely really like it again i really like the flat surface it really helps me blend everything out and get into all of those small spaces and also baking baking my face i actually think both of them will do an amazing job and perform very well to bake my face so overall two big thumbs up i'm so excited all right so now we're gonna move on to these eyeshadow palettes by maybelline they came out with six new I haven't tried any of them yet, but from the looks of it, the colors are absolutely stunning. There's also lots of colors to choose from, so there's varieties, which is pretty cool. All right, so now for the hard part. Which one should we test out? I think I want to do this one. This one is called Downtown Sunrise, and it has the prettiest, most stunning colors. Wait, actually, did I tell you guys the name of these palettes? These are called the City Mini Palettes. First, let me show you guys what it actually looks like on the inside. Um, so there's six different eyeshadows, and I also really like how the back part 
kind of shows you like a little guideline. Obviously you don't have to use these guidelines. It's really up to you, but I just think it's really cool to have it there. And here's the swatches. Oof, you guys, these, these colors excite me very much. They swatched very nicely, glided on very smoothly. So now let's put them to the actual test. First, I'm taking this eyeshadow right here and applying it all over my crease. Next, I'm taking this eyeshadow and applying it all over my lids and hopefully that's a good idea. Next, I'm gonna go back in to the first eyeshadow we use and just kind of blend everything in and get rid of any harsh lines. Next, I'm taking the dark brown eyeshadow and applying it to the outer corners of my eyes. Next, I'm taking that shimmery gold eyeshadow right there and applying it to the inner corners of my eyes. And now I'm just taking this eyeshadow and applying that to my brow bone. All right, so I went ahead and finished off the rest of my eyes off camera to kind of give it a fair review. And overall, you guys, I am completely obsessed with this eyeshadow palette. I think it has everything you need to complete the perfect eye look. Again, all of the eyeshadows were very, very easy to work with. They were very blendable, very smooth, also very, very pigmented. And I think my camera is washing me out just a little bit, but you guys definitely have to try this out for yourself the next time you're at Ulta. Target, please pick it up because I highly recommend this product and also there's so many other colors to choose from so if this is not your jam there's so many other ones to choose from so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a thumbs up all right moving on to our next products these are by Rimmel these are the stay matte liquid lip colors and this is what they look like I believe they come in I can't seem to remember but there's definitely a lot of shades they came out with a ton of shades but these are the ones that I really like from the collection so the description online says that it's impressive staying power up to 12 hours kiss proof Proof, touch proof, waterproof. It also has a velvety matte finish and an unbelievably comfortable lightweight texture. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these two colors for you guys and see what it's ooh wow that's very pigmented. Ooh, they have they have a really yummy scent to them. So here are the swatches. As you guys can see, that was only I believe I only did one swipe. They're both very vibrant and pigmented. So let's go ahead and test this. I think I want to do the pink one on the lips. All right, fam. So so far so good. First of all, this color is everything. It's definitely right up my alley. It's a good combination of like pinkish but also nudish. It's also gliding on very smoothly on to my lips as you guys can see it's not streaky whatsoever it also dries fairly quickly I think I've only had it on my lips for about a minute and it's already dry and it wasn't lying when it said that it's very comfortable it definitely feels very comfortable on the lips I barely feel it on my lips which is pretty cool I'm actually gonna go ahead and keep this on for the rest of the day and test out the you know 12 hour wear so if I have more info on it more thoughts on it I'm gonna put it down in the description box below so be sure to check it out if you guys are interested but so far this is a thumbs up for me it's a yay all right you guys so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope this video is helpful for you guys especially if you've been eyeing some of these products lately Again, this video is more of a first impression video, so if I have any other thoughts on any of these products, I'm going to put them down in the description box. Be sure to come back in a few days for a brand new video, and I love you! Have an amazing day, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.